Hey guys, it's Vandy Ezzo, back in with another card fight Vanguard, as in the Vandy Weekly Reveal. So if you guys enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and down to the Patreon. And let's get one started. So as per usual, I guess nowadays, where I, now I'm just doing the um, Ezzo and the Vandy Debt videos, part of them, or like the first half, I'm doing them a day early because I'm always busy on Tuesdays, and Tuesdays are the worst time for me to do them, or like most, like all of them, because considering how normally there are a lot of reveals. Today, as of Monday, we only have four reveals, so maybe I shouldn't be doing this early, but I know it's coming up tomorrow on Tuesday for me, and I am definitely busy, so in case Bushy decides to just start shoving in new cards randomly, I'm going to go ahead and get the four cards we have out of the way now, and then on the second half of this video, if there is a second half, we will go to that. So first up, let's get started with the screams of dead melting into the sound of rain. Part of me thinks that they're just trying to bring back buddy fight names, because the longer the name, it feels like they're more hero world based from Buddy Fight, considering they were always like really long ass names. So now I'm starting to think maybe they're bringing back that from Hero World, and I know a lot of people liked it. I liked it because it was always really funny and just really cool in general. Cool ass art though, like we get Zorga standing in the middle of, I forgot the order, which is funny because I literally just recorded the video on it yesterday, but Regurgitation from the Underworld, he's standing around right in the middle of it, doing a cool stance, ah the boy. Anyway, it's a grade 3 normal order. Your opponent chooses one of their rear guards and retires it. You choose one card from your drop zone with the same grade as the rear guard your opponent retired and call it to rear. So no alchemagic effect, unlike a regurgitation from the underworld, which is also weird because this is straight up regurgitation from the underworld. Except your opponent, I mean, it's guaranteed that this time your opponent's rear guard is going to be killed. Normally you kill your opponents anyways, at least from what I've seen. But like, this time it has to be your opponent's rear guard and they get to pick, unlike you get to pick. And you only get to call one. But good news is... You don't have to pay a cost for it because it's a set, it's literally free. So that's what I like about it. It's like a nerfed version of Regurgitation from the Underworld. But if you like this one's freebie skill more than you like the other one's skill, because they are almost dead similar, I say go with this one. Because without the Alchemagic, yeah, without the Alchemagic part, this one is inherently better, except for the fact that you get to kill. Except for the fact that you get to pick the rear guard. So all around, this thing is really good. I like it. Two of because that's what I put all my Zorga um, orders at. Speaking of another order, we have a Blitz order, which might be the only Blitz order I consider running in Zorga. Abolishing everything for the sake of our sins. Grade 2, Blitz order, Soul Blast 1 to play it, draw a card, choose one of your units, and then for each different order card in your drop and bind zone, for that battle, that unit gets plus 5. So in my Zorga deck, I run about 5 orders at a time, so if this is in drop as well, that's about plus 25 to a unit. 5k less than Bermuda's plus 30 order. And you get to draw out of it too. If I run a Blitz order, unless they give me something else, I think I'm running this because, whoo, that is really good. And we all know the only reason why I'm not running a Blitz order is because I already have a big problem with orders. Like a lot of them end up in my hand, and Zorga can only alchemagic normal orders so far. They're gonna, I know they're gonna make a card that does it eventually. I just don't know what it's going to be, but that is really good. If I run a Blitz order, it's going to be this one. I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not going to say I am going to run it, but I'm not going to say I'm not going to run it either. So it's going to be a two guaranteed if I do run it. So for now, we'll just say, hell yeah, that's a good card because it is. Uh, next up, we have Stealth Dragon Shakukan, 10k base, 5k shield, grade 2 with intercept. Continuous rear this unit. When this unit attacks a grade 3 or grade unit, gets plus 5. So it's just a plus 5. Unfortunately, it's on an auto which would allow it to restand, but then that leads me to question, do they, either they're, this is for premium specifically, or they're introducing a way to stand rear guards in the set? Because to my knowledge so far in Dragon Empire, they don't have one of those, unless you count Overlord, but that's not important right now. I think Overlord, I think, no, Vanguard Restrictive is Overlord's restand skill. So unless they're talking about premium here for that, they're giving away the fact that they're gonna make a card for Dragonic Empire, I mean, yeah, Dragonic Empire that stands rear guards. I'm not so sure what it is. I may be reading too much into this, but them giving it a continuous kind of makes me question something. So we'll give Shakuken a three of. Then we have Spiritual Treasures in Solitude, grade three normal order, counterblast two to play it. Choose two arm cards from your drop zone and add them to hand. Okay, so you know, standard ability. I mean, not standard, why am I saying standard ability? It's just a normal order that, you know, gets you two arms back. So if like the shield and the, um, sp um yeah, sorry, shield and sword end up in drop, you can get them back to hand. Questionable thing is, 
in this arc they show the spear and the gun now i also might be reading into this again but does that mean both of them are gonna have an ability that retires so oh my god what if the gun is the defensive one and the gun's like when your vanguard is attacked re retire it nuke your nuke an opponent's rear guard or like nuke your opponent's back row that would be so cool i mean that might be a bit too broken depending on which one it is but that would be a really interesting ability it could, and that would be a way to get into drop and then spear is somewhat similar to sword oh my god gun nukes the back row and shield um guard restricts is that what it's gonna please bushy come on i i got an idea for them come on give me that give me that it's, it's a good idea you gotta admit i mean she, gun might be a bit too broken if it is actually nuked the background i'm not so sure how much that would affect gameplay but interesting order i definitely like the art of it and i like the skill my only problem with this is a counter blast too we are already stuck on counter charges that is the reason why i removed persona rides in my nirvana deck so i could have a counter charger stop making me remove cards for counter chargers i mean in best Vigar, it's fine because you can just keep calling gojo back but still so i say in order at two copies we already have plenty of orders though so i don't know i don't know Okay, so let's continue with our um, reviews. First up, we have Leap Mia, 5k base, 5k shield, grade 1 with boost. So already, I'm kind of thinking of the mainish card here. Auto one's placed when it's discarded from your hand during your turn, Soul Blast 1, and call to the backward rear guard circle as rest. Basically, reassuring you that you have an extra booster for the later turn and not making your discard a complete waste of time. Because most of the time, you're going to have a back row center open, so it's a nice thing that can fill it up. And continuous rear guard, if this unit stand, this unit gets intercept and intercept from the back row. So, really nice that, you know, he can just kind of be a 5k intercept from the back row, and you can still get fodder out of him, even though he's discarded. I still won't run him, though, because he's not a great 3, which means the chance of you getting Bastion off is not as well. So I still won't run him, but if you want to run him, run him at 2 or 3. Next up we have Knight of Heavenly Flash Akalisa, grade 2, intercept 5k shield, 10k base, auto rear, once per turn, this unit attacks if you have another grade 3 unit in the same column as it, gets plus 1 grade and 5k power. So 15k in it, if Bastion's on your board, so 17k as well with, yeah, just 17k. My only problem is, it's on swing, and while it does stack, it's the it loses the grade 3 power boost from Bastion, so honestly, it's not really that good of a grade 2. Like... Three of, two of maybe, but that's pretty much it. And then we have our last two cards, which are both Desire Devil support for Greedon. First up, we have Desire Devil Keenan, 9k base, 5k shield, grade 2 with intercept, auto ones placed on rear during your main phase, kind of boss one with the top card of your deck, call it to rear guard at the end of the turn, retire the called unit. So really nice, because as usual, Desire Devil cards can be run in um, Barrel Magnus, and now you can kind of just call stuff down for Barrel Magnus and shove stuff to soul anyways without them getting killed, but also, this allows Greedon to swing for like five attacks in one go. I mean, Grant has to be placed during main phase, but um, I mean, not five attacks in one go, but three attacks and still not pay that many resources. And the funny thing about this is that if it wasn't uh, during main phase place, you effectively could just OTK someone with this. Or like five turn attack someone with this. So, really nice. I like this gray too. Only downside is it's a 9k base, but it looks really cool. Three copies. And then, or four copies. And then we have our final card, which is Desire Devil Bupitsu. 8k base, 5k shield, grade 1 with boost, auto rear, once per turn, when your other rear guard is put into your soul by a vanguard's ability, counter boss one, choose a card from your hand, call it an open rear guard circle, and if your soul is 10 or more cards, you draw a card. May be used even if this unit is put into the soul at the same time as another unit. So if you have two of these on board and you shove them both to soul, you can counter blast two, and then you can call two to an open rear guard circle, or you call one, draw one, and then you do it again, allowing you to get three attacks with greed on. I mean, four attacks with greed on, which is really nice because when you think about it it's not that much when it's four attacks but when it's four attacks of the deck that only gets two attacks yeah really good bubetsu is an amazing grade one and because greedon isn't once per turn i believe with his restand ability or he might be i'm not so sure you could technically do greedon twice in a turn if it's not once per turn i might be wrong about that either way it's a really good grade one and you should definitely run it at four of and that's it for the weekly video. Sorry, I sped a bit at the end here, but I have something to do after this, which is why I wanted to record the other ones early. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what you guys think about these new cards. They're all really interesting. They're all really cool, especially the Desire Devils for Greedon. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, donate to the Patreon, join the Discord, follow the Twitch, and I'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget to stand up your vanguards.